Gets a hold of that one. With Higgins looking at it. That one's out of here. Goodbye. See ya. Notre Dame now breaking this one wide open. Getting a two-run shot from Ryan Cole, the graduate student. Continuing to add it on for the Irish and making no doubt about this one against an in-state rival. One, two. Pulled into left field. That one is out of here. It's another shot for Danny Crossan. It's a two home run night. Tying the ball game at four apiece. Hayden deals. Grounder gets by Irby. That will score one easily. And Coatsy gets his first hit of the ball game. Notre Dame now leads 3-1. A 1-2. Nicoletti lining it over the head of Latham. Mystic walks it off. They take two outs. They load the bases. Mystic wins in a cross-division matchup. Eddie Nicoletti, timely hitting, has been the word to describe him. Nothing more timely with a bases-loaded situation. Flying it over the head of Latham. Mystic gets it. In the bottom of the ninth. And we're just in the bottom of the second. Deuce's wild situation with two on, two balls, two strikes. The deal from Harris. Down the heart of the plate. Allen will field it. He'll flip over to LaPlante at second. And once again, Connor Harris works out of the jam. He allows one to play. However, Mystic retains their three run lead. Stay with us on the NECBL broadcast network. We go to the top of the third. Call from URI, he was talking to Kopak pregame. That one ripped into right field, that will get down for a base hit. Bell will field it, they'll send Myers around second, he'll slide into third. And now runners on the corners for an aggressive Blues team with two outs here in the bottom of the four. Mystic had the best fielding percentage after the regular season, fielding 970. And closely behind him with Martha's Vineyard. That one's tattooed into center field. Jakonski will make it a run in the back. Jakonski will watch it bounce off the wall. Coming around third and waved home will be Brady. It's a stand-up double for Logan Chambers. Putting the Sharks on the board. Four to one now. A 2-2 to come home. Nicoletti launching that one into right field. They can only look at it. And it's a home run. Eddie Micheletti picks up his second of the summer, launching it into the netting by the houses here at Cardines. And after a scoreless fifth, Micheletti says, I'll pick one up in the sixth. Breaking ball down to Paglarini. Paglarini will turn to second. Allen will fire over there. It'll be in time. It's a twin killing. Paglarini to Allen to Kopak. Five, four, three. Mystic gets it back after... LaPlante commits the error. It wipes the bases clean. Ferrer broken bat it appeared. Farquaad will take it. They'll try and turn. They'll get one. Do they get two? Yes, they do. And it's an unconventional one, two, three inning. And the goals respond. And the top of the fifth will go to the home half of the fifth. We're tied up. Eight apiece right here on the NECB Out Broadcast Network. One, two to come home. That one's ripped and it's trailing into left center field. That one will get down by it. Ledbetter will bounce off the 106.5 sign. Paglarini turning in and around. JKG will hold it and now Mystic out in front. And it's an RBI double from Joe Jakonski. The man who had been struggling the box a little bit breaks through with a big double. As we welcome you back to historic Cardines Field, Jacob Iron, Zach Lutzen, and Shane Briggs here with you. That's coming to the lefty batter's box will be Eddie Micheletti. Here in an offensively charged game. They stick out in front at the moment. 7-5 to five here in the fourth. As Micheletti will launch that one into center. Going back will be Ledbetter. Ledbetter will look at it. He'll bounce off the fence. Micheletti digging and he'll slide in for a double. Eddie Micheletti continues his road on base streak. And we welcome you to South Bend, Indiana 
for a midweek game between the Purdue Fort Wayne Macedons and the number 18 ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish at Frank X Stadium. So happy to have you with us. Jacob Irons joined alongside Callan Stoker. We got a great in state matchup between these two teams that haven't faced each other since 2012. And Notre Dame's rocketing right now, and a big reason why is their pitching, and it was against Valpo yesterday that really showed. 